going and welcome to Happy People News. Yeah, happy people. <laughs> So happy you've got this platform, Porsche. Finally. It's <laughs> looking nice. Yeah. I, love, I love the red. It goes with the happy people colors. <laughs> yeah. So I'm what's happening? Yeah. So you're back, so you're back on track. You're doing your art full time and you've got an exhibition coming up, right? Yeah, so I mean, yeah, Posh, like we said earlier, mm -hmm. it's been a journey. Yeah. So Ngawu African Contemporary Art is celebrating 10 years of mm -hmm. showcasing the best of African contemporary art during mm -hmm. Africa Month. Mm -hmm. And post-COVID, um, actually the journey with Mamnoria started during COVID. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. as we all know, she is one of our legendary artists in mm -hmm. South Africa. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, during the lockdown, the department right. actually gave him, I'd say, seed capital to All do right. some work in, um, um, during the um, lockdown. Mm -hmm. But the challenge that we all had during mm -hmm. lockdown was, mm -hmm. you know, you give an an old an eighty four year old a grant. Mm. but they've got no platform to showcase their work. Mm. So we started this journey with her during, um, in May, mm. during the lockdown, and in May we started with an online platform for, May, for her which, to showcase. Them. During the lockdown this May or last year? Yeah. Well, we're still in lockdown. Oh, yeah. No, it started. Um, so during the lockdown in, in November, last, right. you know, 2020. 2021. When did we start? With we're in 2022 now. Yeah, two years, right? Yes, <laughs> two years. So it started during, during the, uh, yeah, November last year. Mm -hmm. And we started an online platform with her. Mm -hmm. So, which didn't really go that well during during the lockdown. And mm -hmm. we approached Nairox Sculpture Foundation mm -hmm. to showcase her work. Actually, mm -hmm. we started with her residency. Mm -hmm. And we started the residency with her at um, Nairox in May to mm -hmm. celebrate her 84th birthday mm -hmm. and to celebrate our legal legends. And mm -hmm. also to win her trust again because she was manipulated a lot during yeah, it's a long story, but mm. she was she she went insular instead of being out there, and she does brilliant work. She's one of our legendary artists that are really um well known globally. Mm. You know, mm. museums, mm. big art collectors that got mm. her work, mm. etc. So we started with the residence in May to celebrate mm. her eighty fourth birthday, mm -hmm. and the second phase is happening now. Mm -hmm. um, the exhibition opened on the 22nd of October right. and the, um, again, between the period of May till October, mm -hmm. she continued to produce new work. Mm -hmm. So the exhibition today is all about the showcase of her old collection and new collection and also continuing the journey to celebrate her life through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, the Bila Lekhodi Sculpture Center. That's yeah. beautiful. So Sabi, tell us about yeah, your organization. Your, yeah. your organization. Surely you um it's wonderful what you're doing, but you obviously showcase a lot of other artists. Um, what is your mandate? Maybe tell us more about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now African contemporary art, I mean, as I said, Posh, we started 10 years ago. We're mm -hmm. celebrating 10 years of 10 um, years as children. Happy 10, 10 years, year right? anniversary. Uh, oh, yeah. You've also been doing this. You've been at this for a while. It's been quite a journey. Yes, congrats. <laughs> yeah. And the purpose of it really was to create bilateral relations between South Africa and the rest of the continent. Mm -hmm. You know, um, how the continent perceives as South Africans. And it started during the xenophobic attacks when um, in 2012, remember the, mm -hmm. the first, mm. yeah. And 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 when I approached the Department of Arts and Culture, um, I thought, you know, we need to create a platform where we can showcase the best of our African contemporary art and mm. also a relationship and create those bilateral relationships between us and the rest of the continent. Mm. 
mm. because South Africa has been so insular for a mm. very long time, mm. you know, mm. during apartheid. Mm. And I think the influx of all these foreigners coming to the coming to uh, to South Africa, it was also lack of uh, how can I say it, understanding other people's cult cultures. Mm. So we used um visual arts as a medium to address social cohesion issues, uh, political issues happening around the continent, mm -hmm. and to also create a relationship because Africa is a continent, we are one, That's you know, beautiful. it's mm -hmm. just these boundaries. That, yeah, mm -hmm. so we started that platform and the name Mauru, it's a Khoisan name, it means I see you and acknowledge you for who you are. Powerful. So, mm -hmm. Would yeah, you say would yeah. you say the that has been the narrative portrayed in all the art, you know, depicting this this the drive to unite Africans and promoting social cohesion? Or is it not necessarily, you know, cast in stone? You know, when we started, it was um I have to be honest, um we were trying to push boundaries, right? Like mm. people were not really, again, we're also targeting a different market altogether. Black mm. people are not really into art. You said mm. it just that mm. the West looks scary. <laughs> so, even though I said it, even though I said it, I fine art, anyway. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, but art is actually a medium mm. that um, I always say artists, they've got a way of addressing issues across the board. I mean, when you look at our history as South Africans, what united us was art, it was music, it was exactly. art, it was mm. uh, the humor Sikela's days, we, yes. we celebrated through yes. music, right? Yes. yes. So, um, and and this is why we, we, I mean, since 2012, I mean, there have been, we've had a lot of platforms that are now starting to create awareness of African contemporary art in the continent. You mm. know, mm. we've got the Art fair, we've got the Teban Art Fair, we've mm. got more Black people going to galleries, we've got, mm. you know, so it's it's mm. opening up to mm. new audiences, and this is mm. why we do what we do, mm -hmm. yeah. And by the way, on, on that comment of art looking scary, you know, sometimes it could be a, a message that is intended, you know, it could be portraying what an artist is going through, you know, at that point in time, you know, if we are going yeah, through a revolution, yeah. Yeah. you can't have a smiley face, you know, it is what it is. It has to be portrayed yeah. in that manner. You yeah. Know? yeah. And and how are you, yeah. when you say I mean, that, mm -hmm. yeah, you were saying? So, yeah. and I like what you're saying, because Mam Naria's work, um, mm -hmm. her work is inspired by dreams. So mm -hmm. it's not work that she wakes up when you know, she's inspired by mm. what she sees mm. in her dreams. Mm. And sometimes, um, and she's, she grew up, she, she has a very painful journey as a single parent, mm. you know, mm. and um, through her art, you can see a lot of baby mother, daughter, mm. and sculptures, mm. you know, and that's her, that's her mm. journey as mm. a mother and mm. the pain that she had to go through, you mm. know, mm. so yeah. Mm, beautiful. So and when, that's mm, yeah. And when you say that black people are not that used to art, um, how are you obviously trying to get more, especially South African black people? Because you know, South African and black people have bread and butter issues, and um, yeah, you know, this is why they probably do not bother with anything else and go for things that are stress relievers like dancing and drinking and smoking, you know, just as a stress reliever. But when it comes yeah. to alternative lifestyle and, you know, appreciating, you know, other lifestyles, it's, it's going to take time. So how are you, um, you know, getting more black people or people of color to, to appreciate the arts? So, you know, Posh, when we started, like I said, it was mm. something that um, mm. we had um, very few black people who visited galleries, right? Mm -hmm. And then you would count the number of black people who would mm. go to your Goodman galleries, etc. Mm. And since we know the new era in South Africa, people, we now have executives who, and, and they live affluent lifestyles, they mm. buy beautiful cars, they live mm. in tour bags, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, most of them, they haven't really got into the space of investing in art mm -hmm. because art, it is an investment. It's mm -hmm. not a nice to have. Mm -hmm. So we started what we call the Black Collectors Forum All right. in 2014. 
Mm. right? Mm. And then the Black Collectors Forum was really targeting your high end, um, uh, yeah, your affluent Black executives, mm. Mm. you know, and to educate them why should they invest in art, how art appreciates in value, and right. um, have art with TikTok, where we mm. really talk about which artists should they start in bed, like to look out for who emerging artists right. and how they the the touch the the journey of an artist and how their the art appreciates and really. Mm -hmm. So that journey still continues. What mm -hmm. we are doing now with Mam Noria, we're still targeting you I, I used to say um black it's intentional because mm -hmm. people thought we are being racist, we're just discriminating amongst but it was an untapped market, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. It was an untapped market needed um, a platform to educate, to have a conversation mm -hmm. and to understand why they should be investing in art. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So would you say art appreciates yeah. in value and people need to understand that, that art actually does appreciate an investment? Yeah, it is an investment. Mm -hmm. It is an investment. Mm -hmm. And I think this is why we've got galleries like your Goodman Gallery that mm -hmm. have been in existence for the past hundred years. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know what I always say is that let's look at the whole ecosystem in the visual art space or in yeah. the creative economy, right? Yes. Like yes. We've got artists who are the manufacturers of this product. There's PR, there's marketing, mm -hmm. there is um logistics so it's the whole creative economy that we need to start tapping into mm, and mm. this is why we we've started this whole the, the platform yeah beautiful and i love the fact that you mentioned yeah. ecosystem because there's so much it's not only you don't only have to be an artist i mean there's even manufacturing you know where you could manufacture paint yeah, yes. specifically for art you know there's just so much frames you know oh my word paper yeah you know? Mm, and yeah. even the, the, yeah. the layout, yeah. the design, the layout of exhibitions, right? When you do an, an exhibition, you choose the right location. By yeah, the way, exactly. speaking of exactly. location, you chose an amazing location. Tell us why you chose yeah. that location. So Nairobi Sculpture Park is um, uh, well owned by Benji Lipman, mm. who is also um, the founder of the Maboning at Prince of downtown. Mm -hmm. But um, he came up with a concept, which is still a very new concept in South Africa of having sculpture, enjoying art outdoors, mm -hmm. not in, indoors, like mm -hmm. galleries, etc. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, when people come to Nairobi tomorrow, they will enjoy the, be the beautiful scenery of um, mm -hmm. sculpture, Mm -hmm. you know and mm -hmm. and it's not just south african scalp, um, uh, artists but it's mm -hmm. artists around the continent mm -hmm. and um so we chose nairox because of the hit mam noria's background as well mm -hmm. you know he lived she lives in an estate in venda where she's got her own farm and at 84 she still uses chisels to Amazing. to carve you know mm -hmm. and very strong very so it's it it was a perfect fit for us mm. to partner with Marox Foundation. beautiful yeah. and what can people yeah. look forward to tomorrow um seeing that tomorrow is your last closing off tomorrow so tomorrow it's the last weekend and yeah. we've been enjoying we've enjoyed this journey with mom Maria. it's been exciting and you mm -hmm. know posh i have to be honest just mm -hmm. spending time with her during the residency and her telling her own stories of mm -hmm. Um, each artwork why and 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 um I think for me it's it's she hasn't been in the public eye for a very long time she went in Sula when people started publishing books about her without her mm -hmm. knowledge mm -hmm. you know and and she thought no I don't want to deal with any galleries I don't want to be out there anymore and it was a journey for us to persuade her to eventually come out and say I'm, I'm, because people thought she had passed on and wow. she, <laughs> well done so having yeah uh, mm. and having those mm. yeah and her, telling her own story her mm. way herself yeah. yes well done mm. yeah so would you yeah. say people were actually so, and, profiting without she wasn't getting she wasn't benefiting from those publications the previously yeah i mean so people used to to they published books without her knowledge 
Oh, um, people used to come and, and, and that was what made her very angry and she shut down completely and um, she didn't want to deal with the art world. Mm -hmm. So she continued to produce in her own space mm -hmm. and people, some of the people had her collection mm -hmm. which she never uh, managed to get it back because she didn't have the know-how of going to attorneys to fight for her work and, mm -hmm. you know, knowing her rights as an artist mm -hmm. and people just come to her estate and just take the artwork and never return it. Sure. So, so when I say it's the whole ecosystem, there's legal that is also involved, mm -hmm. and also the, the the journey of a, of an artist as a business owner because they they mm -hmm. are manufacturers of the same. But there are all these other aspects: accounting, finance, etc. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very important. <laughs> Yeah, and, and, and again, it was also how she priced her work. I mean, you know, because she didn't have any knowledge. When you go to international museums, Mamnaria's work, it's it goes to your millions. And then when you go to her estate in Venda, she's pricing it for 2500 So, like, that gap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I hope but now, I, and now, so obviously, it's, she's... She's, she understands the value of her work and now, you know, she's getting compensated fairly, would you say? That's the, that's what we are trying to do now. Through, right. uh, we work very close with um, University of Johannesburg. They are going to honor her in um, next, next year, April. Mm -hmm. And we... Yeah, institutions like your Nairox Foundation and the Department of Arts and Culture as well being involved. So she's got, I think, people around her that are really protecting her going forward. That's and wonderful. we are celebrating her. I mean, 84 years, she's been mm. doing what she's doing for the past 54 years. Yeah. Mm. Well done. I'm looking forward to more to people to join us tomorrow. Definitely. It's free. People yes. are yes. welcome yes. to. Yes. Yeah. And the address so again? The address. The the handles, how do they get to yeah. you? So they can um, www.narogsculpturepark.co.za right. and uh, and they can go to my website as well, www.narogsculpturepark.co.za mm -hmm. Oh, wonderful. And no handles on um, social media to follow, to I tag? Some social media handles. Hashtag Bilal Khodi. That's mm -hmm. where they. <laughs> right. Yeah. Lovely, lovely. Looking forward to seeing you there tomorrow, guys. Please like, share, subscribe. Check us out tomorrow at Mam Noria's art exhibition closing tomorrow. And Sepi, in closing, what makes Sepi happy? Because we are happy. I be happy is making a difference within communities and doing things that are meaningful within communities and and also just doing work that is fulfilling for me mm -hmm. that's what makes me happy mm -hmm. yeah that's beautiful thank you so much thank you thank you posh looking forward to seeing you tomorrow likewise